Welcome to Electro Online. Again, we have the X and Y reversed. The X is to the first power, the Y is to the second power. So again, it's not a function, it's a relation, it's a quadratic relation, and we should be able to grab those rather quickly and easily by using the very same technique as we did for the regular functions, quadratic functions. So here we notice that we don't have a constant term, so we don't have a shift along the x-axis, but we do have a shift, in this case, since it's y plus 2, that means we have to shift to the negative direction in the y direction. So that means we're going to shift it down, 1, 2, negative 2, and there's no shift along the x-axis, so the vertex is over here, and it opens upward or in the positive direction, so it looks something like this. Over here, notice we have a shift in the negative direction along the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, so that's negative 3, and we have a shift in the negative direction along the x-axis, 1, 2, right there, so the vertex, the vertex is right there, so this is negative 2, and it opens towards the right, towards the positive direction, but since we have a 2 there, that means it's going to be a rather skinny, uh, skinny parabola, so it looks something like this. And finally, here we have a shift to the right along the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a shift upward, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, wait a minute, that is wrong. I got confused myself. I'm doing it in the opposite direction. Ah, I did it as if it was a regular, a regular graph instead of a, uh, a reverse graph with the x and the y reverse. So notice how easy it is to get messed up here. Notice we have a shift in the positive direction along the y-axis. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. And we have a shift in the positive direction along the x-axis, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one way to look at it, if y is equal to 0, then x would be equal to 5. And so that's probably a good way of looking at it. Well, hmm, that's not correct either. Maybe we should do it, um, put the thing over and see what else the other <laughs> No, it, it's, it's still better to look at, so this is along the y-axis, this is along the x-axis associated with the x, so we go up 5 in the x-axis, we go shift in the positive direction 4 in the y-axis, and so that means our vertex is over here, it opens downward or towards the negative direction, and because of the one-half, it's a very wide parabola, so it'll kind of look like this, and look like this, so that would be the correct parabola for that. So again, let's check this picture. We did this correctly. So here we have a shift along the y-axis and we have a negative shift. We go down two. Here we have a shift of three in the, in the y direction and a negative two in the x direction. Here we have a shift of plus four in the y direction and plus five in the x direction. So, so you really have to associate the shifts What's in the parentheses associated with that variable? What's outside the parentheses is associated with this variable. That's probably the best way to think about it. And that is how it's done. I used to cheat at that. Used to uh, turn it around and then draw it. <laughs> That's actually not a bad way to do it. I think I might have done that too. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a brain twister, it really is. And notice, I, I made a mistake. Let's draw that one with the x and y axis reversed. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go... We're doing blue with the other. Well, I'm going to do it on the sec separate graph. And I'll, I'll use blue, yeah. That's a good idea. So let me write this equation as y is equal to minus 1 half x minus 4 squared plus 5. So let's grab this one. So there's our y-axis, there's our x-axis, and so notice we have a shift in the x-direction of positive 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and a shift in the y-direction of plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so where they meet, that's going to be the vertex, it opens in the negative direction, and it's going to be wide because of one half, so that means that the graph will look like this.
like that. And if we then compare that uh, to this graph, hmm, is there a good way to, to do that? So just think of who, who, who is a positive and who is a negative. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, so what you want to do is you want to go like this. So you have a shift of 4 in the x direction. Here you have a shift of 4 in the y direction. You have a shift of 5 in the y direction. So you have a shift of y in the x direction. So you just kind of reverse the shifts. Yeah. Yep. That might help. So you do that on a scratch paper. <laughs> <laughs> Not on the test. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just uh, sort of pay attention to see where the quadrants are. Like quadrant 1, 2, 3, 4, where, the, uh, where it opens up to which quadrant. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that works.